Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from kbandstraining.com. Today we're focusing on the overspeed W's. This is a great drill to help with our lateral quickness as well as our mobility when turning to sprint. To help with our spacing, we're gonna be using eight agility cones. If you're not quite this advanced, go ahead and cut the number of cones down so that we can maintain our quickness throughout the entire shuffle and the sprint at the end. With the eight cones, depending on your level of athleticism, these can be spaced differently as well. We're gonna be using two lines slightly staggered so that we have that zigzag or W effect moving down the cone line. Now the space between the two lines of cones is where we can make the adjustments. Bigger athletes, more advanced athletes that need a little bit longer sprint or want more resisted shuffling, go ahead and spread those two lines out. For beginners, keep them nice and tight so that you can maintain your center of balance as we're working explosively with both the shuffle and getting out and sprinting to each of the front cones. Remember, agility and quickness is about having a great center of balance and being able to explosively accelerate and decelerate. So by using the reactive stretch cord, each shuffle, you're gonna be feeling the resistance and then assistance coming forward, really challenging our center of gravity as well as helping us move through that dig phase to the front cone. Whenever we're using the reactive stretch cord, it's very important that we practice with our anchors. I know that may sound silly, but your anchors are very important in how much that we can improve using over speed training. It's important that we always keep tension on the cord so that we're providing that resistance down the line of W cones. To do this anchors, we're gonna be using our safety strap, moving in and out, keeping that same level of tension on the athletes as they move through the shuffle, as well as the sprint. You may have to drag your arm down the cord to keep the resistance, or you're gonna to have to quickly move your feet to make sure that there's no slack and consistent resistance to really build that center of gravity and quickness down the line of cones. And last, to help with our athlete's sprint speed, we're gonna use that last cone line to take it out into about a 10 to 15 yard explosive sprint. This is time for the anchors to get out and move a little bit, stretching out that stretch cord and allowing them to have the most assistance that they can have staying under control. Remember though, 10 to 15% assistance is all that you're gonna to need to really provide the benefits of over speed training. So be sure that the assistance provided is not causing any breaking or overstriding as we accelerate down through that last sprint. The overspeed W drill is gonna challenge your conditioning. It's important that we take extended rest periods in between reps so that we can really gather ourselves and keep that explosiveness through each cone line. Complete no more than two to three resisted reps going down from both directions. And finally, finish up with an unresisted rep from both start points so that we can get back in our own and be explosive and finish out with some unresisted sprints. The reactive stretch cord is a dynamic product that can really help to build your speed no matter what age you are. Head to kbandstraining.com and get started training there. We've got all kinds of other drills that can help challenge your quickness and mobility with the reactive stretch cord.